Hey everybody, Harrison Hacks here. Just a quick fix video for the TurboGrafx-16 mini build that I did not long ago. Uh, there was one thing I overlooked and the creator of the theme, his name is Sickle, and uh, he'll be in the description of this video. You can go check out all of his content. Uh, basically he pointed out that the cursor for the core graphics logo on the bottom right hand corner when you're switching systems uh, the cursor was incorrect size, incorrect placement, so I've gone ahead and rectified the issue. So I'll show you guys what it looks like, but I'll just show you really quickly how to install it. It's a super small file, so let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is just go to the link in the description, and you're going to download a 4 kilobyte zip file, uh, super small. And you can right click, and if you're using 7-zip, extract here. If you're using WinRAR, extract here. You'll end up with a TurboGrafx-16 mini folder, and you just want to overwrite your existing TurboGrafx-16 mini folder. Um, so basically, I'm just going to cut, and then I have mine on F, but whatever drive you have yours on, here's my TurboGrafx-16 mini folder. I'll just right-click and paste, and click Replace, and then I'll open it up, and I'll show you guys the fix. So basically what this does, it only changes one small thing, something I overlooked, so thank you again Sickle for pointing this out. Uh, you can see the square cursor around the settings guy, around the sort option, and now it's around the console. Prefix, this was incorrect, it did not look like this, it wasn't set up properly, so I've gone ahead and adjusted all the settings for that. So that's all it does for this, but if anyone, you know, if you're if you're wanting to upgrade it to make it look even better, uh, I definitely recommend doing this little bit of a fix. Very simple, very easy to do. Uh, so again, thank you Sickle. Thank you everyone for watching. Have a good day.